Dear friends, I am delivering on leadership. As we know that in village or community, so many projects are running, but we feel that these projects are failed due to lack of leadership and poor managerial skills. However, peoples of that village or community is ability to run the project successfully if we trained about leadership. So we first know what is the leader. Leader is a person who influences a group of people towards the achievement of a goal. However, leadership has been defined as the process of influencing the activities of an individual or a group in efforts towards the achievement of a goal in a given situations. Sometimes we feel that no difference between leader and manager, but manager is working in government sector, corporate sector and corporations. However, leader is selected from democratic way, sometimes formally nominated. So we can say, if we can say the differences between manager and leader, manager is good administrator. However, leader is innovative. Manager always focus on systems and structures. However, leader focus on people. Manager relies on control and leader always inspire trust. Manager always short range view, but leaders long range perspective he think. Manager ask how and when, but leader ask what and why. Manager I on the bottom lines, however leader I on the horizon, his vision is very high and does thing right, however leader does the right thing. If we see the function of leadership, first function is the achieving the task. Task is very important for leadership if we performing any work, for performing any work to mobilizing the group is very important. So maintain the tempo of that group by providing sustainability and th that group as well as he developing and satisfying individual need of the member of that group. If we see the role of leaders, leader may play different roles. He is planner, he is implementation, he impl evaluation monitoring, controlling, motivating, organizing task group, mobilizing human and financial resources for that group, harmonizing, maintain friendly atmosphere. Above all setting an example to others, this is the main roles of le leaders. Sometimes we feel that one people has so many power, what is the reason, how source of po power came from? research is carried out and we found that five basis of power. First is reward. In some situations, leader is in a position to oblige the someone through promotions, through recognition, through giving the money, but he influences to the other by giving the benefits. But knowledge power is we can say expert power. This power is came from the knowledge. Some person have the knowledge in a specialized field. So he kept the power through knowledge. Coercive power in this situations, leaders has the power to punish who wishes to not, not complying their order. This is generally for in the case of police and employer. However, legitimate power is positional power. If any person use more power than legitimate, then he failed to sustain in long term. But referent power is come from the recognition. Suppose in cricket, Sachin Tendulkar and Mahan Sun Dhoni kept that power due to high practice and performing very high in cricket. So this is the referent power. But we see the style of leadership. Suppose autocratic leadership, what is autocratic leadership? In this type of style, leaders always order. 
he not listen to his follower he simply uh, thinks get in order but democratic leader always take the decision with the cooperation of their colleagues he take all the decision with the participatory mode so this is the best style of leadership but free reign leaders always not take any pain he is simply passing the order if any problem came he resigned from that leadership so democratic style is the best style for leadership if we see the managerial grit four type of managerial grit first improvised in this grit manager always interested with the no, not interested with the production as well as the welfare of the people he simply improvised the things however country club managerial things grit comes that he always think about welfare of the people not take any tension about the productions but team manager always see the production as well as welfare of the people he maintain balance between production as well as as well as peoples however autocratic task manager always taking the interest about how, how to produce max more, much more he not taken any interest about peoples however some of the theories in which one very important theory is the trait theory great man theory this in this theories focus on isolating isolating physical and psychological qualities of leader such as height strength body type enthusiasm intelligence self confidence decisiveness bravery and charisma some of those who support the trait theory believe that leaders are born not made but some of that believe that everybody can lead but but the way of leading is different second theory is very important theory contingency theory leadership is much more complex than simply isolating a few traits of preferable behavior to major approach stem from contingency theory that is style and roles if we see the graph that situation is very unfavorable very favorable then task directed style is success if situation is unfavorable and favorable then human oriented democratic way is very good for this theory if in this theory we have seen opinion leader generally contact farmer our is opinion leader in particularly extension field we have used the opinion leaders and opinion leaders is two type monomorphic and polymorphic monomorphic is single domain specific he sometimes he is the leading in one field but he is follower in other field but polymorphic is always multi domain specific domain specific and next theory is the situational leadership theory this theory is based on the maturity of the group and task and behavioral relationship of the situation if we see the graph if low relationship and low task then telling telling uh, comes in come in this style if low relationship and high task then we came to selling if high relationship and low task then we can say participating if high relationship and high task we give the delegating power to the others so we can say maturity decided very important role in in this theory path goal theory attempt to explain the impact that leader behavior has on associated motivation satisfaction and performance the next very important theory is the organizational theory this theory leadership is a function of position and role in a hierarchical organization this theory is generally in government systems any organization can usually be identified as having three distinct level of management in terms of their roles and authorities first is the corporate manager he this manager look after the whole systems however executive managers look after only those task assignment given to 
हिज बट ऑपरेटिंग मैनेजर्स ऑलवेज लुक ओनली स्मॉल टास्क गिवन बाय दी दियर ऑफिसर्स इन पावर्स थ्योरी इन्वॉल्व द एबिलिटी टू मेक समथिंग हैपन टू सेटिस्फाई इंडिविजुअल ग्रुप आर टास्क नीड अकॉर्डिंग टू वन व्यू द पावर इमेनेट्स फ्रॉम पोजिशनल पावर ए सिंबॉलिक पोजिशन समटाइम्स वी सी वी कैन से प्रेसिडेंट आर डायरेक्टर दिस इज द पोजिशनल पावर बट समटाइम्स ऑपरेशनल पावर बाई पीपुल हु गेट थिंग्स डन विदाउट एनी फॉर्मल पोजिशन ए सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ पावर थ्योरी फोकस मोर ऑन इंपावरमेंट ऑफ फॉलोअर आर फेलो मेंबर्स देन ऑन एकॉम्प्लिसिंग द विल ऑफ द लीडर दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरी बिकॉज वी हैव इंपावरिंग द फॉलोअर्स लीडरशिप अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस व्यू इंपावर पीपुल टू दियर ऑन वर्क द लीडर क्रिएट स्ट्रक्चर एंड फॉलो पॉलिसीज आर फॉलो द नेक्स्ट थ्योरी इज द क्रिस्मेटिक लीडरशिप थ्योरी दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लीडर एज बींग दो बाई द फोर्स ऑफ दियर पर्सनल एबिलिटीज आर कैपेबल ऑफ हैविंग प्रोफाउंड एंड एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी इफेक्ट ऑन फॉलोअर सम सजेस्टेड दैट सम पर्सन सजेस्टेड दैट क्रिस्टमेटिक लीडर आर करेक्टिस्ट बाई सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन दियर एसोसिएट्स हाई एक्सपेक्टेशन फॉर एसोसिएट्स एंड आइडियोलॉजिकल विजन एंड द यूज ऑफ पर्सनल एग्जाम्पल नेक्स्ट थ्योरी इज द इन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल लीडरशिप थ्योरी इन दिस थ्योरी टू पार्ट ट्रांजेक्शनल दिस इज द एक्सचेंज बेनिफिट वी कैन से इन दिस थ्योरी कंटीजेंट रिवार्ड मैनेजमेंट बाई एक्सपेक्टेशन लीजर फेयर हाउ एवर ट्रांसफॉर्मर थ्योरी दिस इज द करिश्मा इंस्पायरेशन एंड इंटलेक्चुअल सिचुएशन एंड इंडिविजुअल कंसिडरेशन लीडरशिप पैटर्न इन वेरियस पार्टिसिपेटिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टडिंग रिवील्ड दैट लीडरशिप गिफ्ट एंड इंसाइट इन टू द प्रोसेस फंक्शन स्टाइल एंड जनरल ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ लीडरशिप नीड टू लीडरशिप पैटर्न इन वेरियस गवर्नमेंट एंड नॉन गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू एप्रिशिएट द कॉन्टेक्स इन बीच द पार्टिसिपेटिव ग्रुप ऑपरेट दिस टाइप ऑफ लीडरशिप इन ऑल दीज एजेंसी कैन बी ग्रुप्ड इन टू दीज कैटेगरी पोलिटिकल लीडरशिप पैटर्न लीडरशिप पैटर्न इन रिसर्च एंड एजुकेशनल एंड सर्विस एजेंसीज इन इन्वायरमेंटल कंजर्वेशन मोमेंट लीडरशिप पैटर्न बिजनेस इंडस्ट्री लीडरशिप पैटर्न if we see that group if we form the water and land management group we can see that all the four leadership play very important role and interrelated in this case we have seen that political leadership and research education and service agencies play a very important role for research extension and policy program however the same leadership like environmental and conservation movement leadership as well as leadership on in the, based on the industry and business play a pressure for community leadership so each of these interrelated and these play a very systematic role in formation of any association being a extension worker we have develop a mission goal for the group first select the right person for each job this is very important if we selected wrong person for that group this is the this situation is always face and our objective is missing so right person selected for right job empower the other member of the group every member of the group may be empowers develop a number of leadership style and use the most appropriate one for each situation we have earlier discussed different styles for leadership but we feel that in leadership styles all base may be change maintain an open and supportive group climate this is also very important develop skill in managing conflict we have in a position to develop skills how to manage the conflict we have some of the group and some of the members we are feeling conflict but this is the responsibility of leader to finish all the conflict maintain the group interest this is the very important each member each member of the group 
is the friendly behave identify the needs of member for development of leadership function necessary for the group develop coordinating network with other groups of community and watershed level being a extension worker it is our responsibility to form a group and form the leader which contain all the roles we have already discussed earlier so being extension worker we have form a leadership quality and managerial skills so that project running in our village or community successful running in for welfare of the farming community thank you